Hey, my TikTok family. Um, I just had to come out here. I'm at work right now. I'm just taking a little break because it just came upon my heart right now to uh, bring this out because it's something I keep kind of um, tiptoeing over. But uh, I wanted to talk about gang stalking, right? So I'm in Colorado. I've never really heard of it. But since um, a couple of things were occurring, you know, and I heard some other people discuss it, I was like, oh my God, that's exactly what's happening to me. And um, so these people are usually, this is totally against the law, by the way. So if this is happening to you, I mean, I'm going to tell you at the end of this little story how I got rid of them. Um, so these people are hired by, uh, you know, ex-boyfriends um, and other people to harass and um, throw dirt on your name and just kind of push you away from things out of fear, right? And like I continuously say, like I ain't never ran from nobody and I sure damn ain't picking today to do it. So it started around the end of April and I recall telling my ex that, you know, this is happening, this is happening. And he's like, mind you, I was using at the time. So he tried to make everything like I was tripping and I was too high and I was this and I was that. So, um, I was like, I don't give a damn. I, I know what's going on. And so I would see these continuous cars, mind you, bad police, um, would post in front of my house uh, and would just sit there and be parked backwards facing my apartment and it was just a total fear tactic and um, I recall this is about when he left like when he was just gone running the streets but I was at home and I was like at first I was kind of worried and I was like what's going on I even told his family like people are following him and he tried to tell me that oh he thinks it's the FBI and they're like watching us mind you he just came out of federal penitentiary for doing 15 years so I was like dude if that's the FBI they're watching you and all the bullshit you do so like don't get me involved in none of your shit and um he was just very adamant that like he didn't know what I was talking about so I did my own research and um you know, these people are, it is called, um, it's something within the federal uh, agency where these people sign up. And I've even looked at the application form, and there's a wait list right now. Um, but pretty much, and then you get a text, and they just tell you where to go. And all of a sudden, you just have swarms of people going to this place looking for someone um and yeah it was just very weird I had people sitting across from my apartment two o'clock in the morning um staring at my apartment my windows where my bedroom is and my living room while myself and my daughter were in there and or actually no she was in California at this time no no she was home um but she ended up going to California for the summer. But, um, and the, these, there's two cars and they were sitting outside and they had like big old shotguns, whether they were fake or not. You know what I mean? It's just a whole scare tactic. So let me tell you how I got rid of them. Mind you, I kept complaining to my ex and telling him like, what's going on? I know this is you. I know this. And he specifically tells me, you know, who do you think runs all this? And uh, who do you think is making all this happen? And to this day, he will deny saying any of that. And he even specifically told me that it would stop by Mother's Day. So when Mother's Day came and went, I go, it's still happening. It's still happening. And he's like, I don't know. I don't know. You know, you're not going to be hurt as long as you're with me. As long as you're with me, you, you know, no, nobody was supposed to get hurt. And um, mind you, I've had, there was one day. When he was asking me, my ex was asking me about, you know, my various car accidents. I told him I've never gotten into a car accident with, you know, all of my car accidents were due to 
bad, uh, bad shocks or whatever, or I would fishtail and hit a wall or something like that. But I've been in numerous, and the day after he asked me that, I've had four cars try to run me off the road, try to specifically hit me. Um, and it was just, it was crazy. So, uh, it's just like every time I shared something with him, he would create this reenaction of it. And to this day, he denies it. He denies any part in it. But so how I got rid of them, mind you, the last, uh, the last person that I did see and stopped and waited behind um, is actually, this is, I think, what brought me to tell the story today. He is working with me right now, literally one aisle over, and he will not look at me. We did catch eye contact one time just now, and I smiled at him. Okay, okay, so back to how I got rid of them. Um... I'm just, I don't have that fear button or that ner fear nerve in my body. So I began to follow them. When they would follow me, I would pull up, I would pull to the side and I would slow down and I would get behind them and I would follow them. And um, I would write down their license plate numbers. And uh, the only thing that keeps me knowing that this is real is I had a lady pull up lady I've never seen her before mind you I'm in I have two cars one has a California license plate and one has a Colorado license plate I was in this car this car has a Colorado license plate she pulls up next to me rolls the window down and says why don't you just go back to California lady who are you I said how do you know I'm from California she said your license plate I said wrong car baby wrong car you just told on yourself um anyways these are a bunch of old, older white people, um, the ones who I've caught in so far. The man in my work, he was at a gas station by my house. Um, and I waved at him and I was like, hi, hi, you know, hi, have a great day. And he just looked at me with the most disgusting look. And uh, so that's what made me pull behind him and get his license plate. Uh, the lady who told me to go back to California, I got her license plate. A lot of the people who were following me and, and coming by my house and posting up where I was at, they've come to my work accounts late at night. That's why I don't like to clean by myself at night anymore. Um, they all had like rental license plates or paper plates that just, you know, I wouldn't be able to pull any real name off of that. So I didn't try. But um, I did, you know, I just drove around one day and I ended up in this really nice neighborhood uh, in Golden and um, really nice neighborhood and I seen a lot of the cars. Where I work now, I work at Amazon in Thornton, Colorado right now and I see a lot of the cars that used to follow me. Um, mind you, I know they're in here. I know that they're constantly surrounding me but God told me he's not going to block them. He wants me to stay right here. And he wants them to see me and watch me eat. And they are not invited to this table. Um, but the thing that just really kills me is that my ex continuously denies it. And uh, continuously will not admit anything that he's done. And, um, you know, he, he's still texting me to this day. You know, can we make it work? Can we do this? No. Way too much damage has been done. Um, so real quick before it ends anyone who is being gang stalked you know what I mean or just being followed or stalked how I got rid of them was I turned the tables around and I followed them I stalked them I didn't stalk them but I mean I literally would go into their home neighborhoods and let them know that you are not as easily hidden as you believe as either you know what I mean if you can do all this to me I can find you Y'all don't really know all of my past. I will find you. And just remember, I ain't never ran from nobody and I damn sure ain't running today. So hope that helps someone. Um, anyways, have a blessed and productive day. I'm going back in here to uh, work an aisle away from these people. <laughs> and just continue to smile and let them see me shine. Have a good one.